Hi, my name is Krista Schumacher, and I'm an artist in San Diego. And I'm Alan Clark. I'm with Alan Clark Art Installations. And today, we're going to demonstrate how to hang a painting. Describe how to hang a painting without a wire. I like to hang them on D rings. These uh, these little guys here that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's. It's the most secure way to hang a painting without locking it to the wall. So what we do is we turn the painting around so we can see the back, the frame, and we approach it from the front. So I'll I'll be working over the painting this way. We'll measure down about a third, down about eight inches, and I'm going just above this bar right here. Normally when you see a painting and they have these on them, they're straight up and down like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it in. And the reason why I'm doing that is because what it'll do is it'll hide the hook behind the artwork. If it was sitting right here, it would be pushing the artwork off the wall and you would see it from the side of the painting. I'm only going to hang it on one screw. Same thing on the other side. We're going to turn the piece around. Now next we want to determine our height. Industry standard is 60 inches to the middle, to the center of the piece. We're going to just do that today, but the, the height can vary depending on your tastes and your furniture and your architecture. But we're just going to stick with 60 inches to the middle. Put a little mark on the wall at 60. And then we take our measurement of the height and it's 36 inches. So this being the center of the arch, we want to do half of 36, which is 18. That will be the center of the artwork. We put it at that 60 inch mark. And I'm gonna use a piece of blue tape and not put any more marks on the wall, but it might be seen. And that is going to be the top of our painting. From there, I will find the center of the wall We have 102 inches. I'll put a little mark here at 51. So now I have the center of the wall marked, the top of my painting marked. What you want to do is you want to measure, take your tape measure, and put it inside the D-ring, and then take that measurement up to the top of the painting. And that's six, six and a half inches to the inside of this D-ring. So I'll take that measurement, and I measure down six and a half. Now what I want to do is take the center mark, bring that down to that six and a half mark. That's going to be the middle of the painting and my hardware mark. Now what you do is you take your measurement from the center of each steering, from one to the other, and it looks like I got 56 and an eight, eighth of an inch, 56 and an eighth of an inch. So we're going to do this without using a level because most people don't have them, so I'm going to show you how to do it without a level. So what we do is we take this mark, and we 56 and an 8, so what we want to do is half of 56 and an 8 is 26 and a 16th. I'll do a little mark here, and I do 26 and a 16th this way. A little mark there, and I'll double check your measurement across, make sure you didn't mess up your math, which I'm good at messing up. Uh, 56 and an eighth, so we're good. We just measure up from the floor to this mark, and that's 71 and a quarter. Just walk on over and do that 71 and a quarter over here. And you walk on over here, and you do the 71 and a quarter over here. And that is going to be our hardware mark. Using picture hooks, you can get these at Home Depot. There's different kinds you can get. These are 50 pound picture hooks. They also come in the uh, Ook style picture hooks that you can get. These are 100 pounders. Okay, so we line up our hardware right on center with that mark on this side. 
So the bottom of the hardware is on that mark. Come back over here and do the same thing on this side. Take that off. Flip around again. Okay, if you're lucky if you have two people to do this, uh, ask your partner to put theirs on first. That way you're not fighting each other, trying to put them on at the same time. And then I do my side as well. And there you go. So to check level. The floors aren't always level. So we got slightly high on the right. It was, it's within an eighth of an inch. You can just tug it down a little bit. And now we're good to go. Now we're level. If it was on a wire, you wouldn't be able to do this. So I'm there nice and sturdy. It's flush against the wall. You won't have any hardware showing. That's it. Amazing. Thank you so much, Alan. So if you live You're in welcome. the Southern California area and you are looking to install an art piece, definitely check out Alan Clark. And thank you so much for following my channel, Chris Schumacher Art, and we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.